Good morning, folks. Add a red hue to 171 angstroms, and it's almost as good as the 193. Today, we're on the doorstep of a calm period, perhaps a calm before the storm. We've got the earth-facing quiet effect dominating, surprising but benign solar wind flux, a fire nato, record-breaking cyclone, related earth spot quakes, and an uptick swarm halfway around the world from it. Also got conditions in our top viewer locations and more. Let's get to it as we slide to spaceweathernews.com and first find the quiet sun. Still got limb activity, but the earth-facing disk has remained calm. We have no large CMEs. No bright flashes from solar flares, and indeed when we come check out the X-ray flux, sea flares are becoming rare, and the earth-facing quiet wins again. Speaking of that, we've got new sunspots on the north that kept growing and are now on the verge of delta-class magnetism if they don't have it already, but they're departing. Per the rules of the earth-facing quiet, one might guess that those spots won't fire until they are over the limb and out of sight. We'll keep watching to find out. We can also foresee more quiet as the incoming umbral magnetic field loops down south may have overplayed their hand a bit before cresting into view. No real sunspots at that surface plague area down there. The big story to watch today in space weather is the solar wind. As the stream ends from the coronal hole and speed begins to fall in yellow, we got a dense bunching of particles that likely accelerated a slice out ahead to produce those faster readings. So far, we see no evidence of the space weather impact on these charts, but that's where my eyes will be today. In the United States, we've had some weird weather lately. Tornadoes, including a fire nato in February, odd heat waves on the heels of record cold, but the rest of the world won't be left out. One of the strongest cyclones in recent memory, in fact the strongest to ever hit the island of Fiji, Cyclone Winston made landfall as a Category 5 storm with 180 mile per hour winds. Lots of damage, pretty much a complete shutdown of the island. Hold that thought. We're going to transition halfway to quakes, and that corona hole up north tells us to watch for increased seismicity. It could be large, damaging quakes, but of course, we always prefer when it's the smaller swarms in rare locations or those earth spot upticks. Well, here's the earth spot uptick as the top quakes of the day hit Fiji right below Cyclone Winston. No big surprise for the observers there. But how about the rare location swarm half a world away? Always prefer those to say a seven-pointer striking California, but even without any effect on human life, that is one of the more amazing Atlantic upticks in one day that I can ever remember. Website members had another great episode of our Fly on the Wall podcast yesterday. We discussed the climate, weather chaos, fighting between scientists, prepping, and more. We also answered a lot of the questions you guys had on our app, the Disaster Prediction app. You guys had a lot of great inquiries. Hopefully we were able to offer some good answers for those questions. I said at the beginning, it could be the calm before the storm. Well, we've got major planetary geometry kicking off March, so let's enjoy this calm while it lasts here in February. We've got pressure and radar and shots of our star to close at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.